Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 19th of April. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one with me, please see the link below where you can check out my testimonials. Or if you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign, embrace more serious astrology, you can do so with my affordable range of reports and also get 30% off on a special offer, the combination of a year's forecast and your character analysis. Please see the link below for those two. Hello Gemini and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 19th of April. The Sun and your ruler Mercury move together at the start of this week into your 12th solar house. I can only be truthful to you, the 12th house is a, a, a transition period in your situation and it's asking you to just step back a little bit from others and perhaps find some more space and time for your own deeper emotional and perhaps even spiritual needs. So if you're prepared to do this, this is an exciting opportunity. If you are more outgoing, well, there's still a terrific link between Mars in your sign and Jupiter for much of this week, which can still see you doing something that's very uh, impressive, bold, dynamic, and it could be linked to travel in some way or altering your situation by being very progressive. But that collection of energy in your 12th house, of course, does include Uranus, the planet of surprises, the planet of freedom. And Mercury and Venus are going to be joining up together with Uranus in the second half of this week. And that could lead you to have some sudden insights and viewpoints around situations that could best be described as being rather tender. So this may be things that have not been quite looked at either by yourself or someone else and suddenly they can come out and may require uh, some analysis. Now Mars is going to be moving on Friday into the sign of Cancer which is going to give you a greater desire to protect your self-worth and it could, if you feel vulnerable this week, see you pushing back on anyone who may raise a contentious subject. But this collection of energy in your 12th house is so deep and so impactful. I feel if you can get in touch with something that has been rather sore and difficult to think about, the sooner you do, the sooner you can come to terms with it and prepare the way for when you have a progression of energy developing in your sign in May, which is really going to be exciting, starting with your ruler Mercury moving on the 4th, followed by Venus on the 9th and the Sun on the 20th. And that's going to bring you much more back into the present. But for now, you just may need to just soothe yourself. Think of ways in which you can embrace healing in all its different guises. And perhaps just try to spend time in very gentle settings by rivers or lakes or streams or even the sea. All of those things can be very healing to your senses. <music> 